Money News First, Rachel Aragon is live at the Department of Driver Services. That's in Southwest Atlanta. So tell us about the delays there. There's been a steady stream of people stopping by to get things taken care of, especially things related to their driver's license. And they're learning firsthand right here behind me at the doorstep, really, to this office about the outage. And they're learning they're going to have to back, come back another time to get things taken care of. I got a lot of things to do today, and I was hoping I could knock this out. Some Georgia residents hoping to run errands Friday ran into a few roadblocks. By the time I get here, it say that the system was down, so we don't know how long it's going to be for it to be back up. The Department of Georgia Driver Services announced DDS services are unavailable due to the global IT outage, meaning those who were hoping to get their license or permit were turned away Friday morning. I thought it was like a slow day because there's no cars here, but it's because that they can't serve anyone. DDS is just one of a handful of departments and agencies across the state impacted by the technology outage. The Georgia Department of Human Services also asking people to be patient as they work to bring back their services online. Now many residents are in limbo, hoping the outage is resolved in the next 24 hours. They be closed on Sundays and Monday. So my thing is, that's why I put in for today to try to go ahead and do it. And we also checked in with area hospitals of the hospitals that were impacted by the outage. They said the impact was minimal and that services are slowly coming back online. Free live in Atlanta. Rachel Aragon, Atlanta News First.